think media literacy is about media, and I don't think this academy is about media. I think this academy is about, is about people. People listening, and it's about people doing. And it's about people being critical and people making. And the media are just the tools we use to facilitate that. We're all here to see things from a global perspective, to have a wider, a wider eye on, on, on what's happening in the world. I can't remember how many countries are represented here, how many walks of life people come from. So some kid asked one of the Chinese students if there were newspapers in China and she just laughed because I guess she thought that was completely obvious but to him it wasn't. I think the challenge that we have right now is like on a social level, it's very socially challenging in terms of getting over language barriers, um, really trying to understand each other on a personal level. You have to break outside of what you know and uh, you have to realize that certain things you're doing are only wouldn't work in different situations because the news is just completely different which in whichever country you're in so the exact same piece of news will be told in 15 different ways I, I don't think that that we bring people together and say we want to teach you X Y and Z instead we say we have a problem that needs to be solved And it was hard to cover because there are so many different sets in Lebanon. Why not allow journalists to interpret the, the events as they want? How do you make those decisions? Well, I think we're getting to some pretty in-depth group work where you would really have to deal with people on a person-to-person -person basis and just understand where they're coming from. We're partnering with the United Nations Development Program to source ideas for big problems that, that they're dealing with uh, throughout the world. I think the role of the faculty is to, um, is to facilitate the ideas of our students. We are working on this thing together. Um, my particular group is working in the space of, of anti-corruption in education. We have one group working on a, a, a digital platform for reporting corruption cases. We have another group working on a, a, a campaign, a, a kind of social campaign. Uh, and we have a third group working on a game um, to all to address the problem of corruption in education. Above anything else, I would say students are are what drives um, what drives the Salisbury Academy. But I would I would I would speak for every faculty member here to say that the students drive each of us personally as well. I will try and critically engage and try to spread whatever I know. So I'll use the media specifically. That's the first thing I'll do. Use the media to let the youth know that there is much more. I just want to tell the stories of ordinary people in my community and uh, I hope that more and more people will know the stories of my world. <laughs>